Well, Danny, I suppose for the neutral, that was a great game to watch. But what did you make of it? Yeah, for the neutral, yeah. I mean, in terms of ourselves, I think we were a little bit laboured today, a little lack, lacklustre. Um, I don't know why, because we've had two really, really good training sessions and we've had a free week um, with no midweek game. So I was expecting a lot, lot more. Um, and we just could, could, caused ourselves so many problems by giving the ball away cheaply, not moving it quickly enough, um, not stretching the pitch when we should have done it. Just decision making, really, um, that was posing our own problems. Particularly in that first half, I mean, uh, half time it could have been three all, couldn't it? In, in some respects, were you surprised by how open the game was? Yeah, to a certain degree. I, I expected them to, to sit off us potentially a little bit more, but then, then again, you know, everyone wants to beat us. It's everyone's massive game, big game for the for them for for the season really, and for them to beat us will be will be unbelievable. So. They had the bit between the teeth and we just didn't move the ball quick enough really and recognising where the space was to exploit them. Um, and sometimes you've just got to sacrifice your game, your individual performance for 10-15 for minutes maybe. Um, whether that's not getting the ball to feet and just constantly going in behind, in behind, because then they've got to go with you. The second they don't go with you, you know, you, you will get in. So from that perspective it was it was disappointing to see. But you know, the the main thing is we we got three points. Liverpool will obviously um Point to the fact that he had the ball in the back of the net on one occasion. Um, a shot went over the bar from close range, six yards. He had a few opportunities, but we did as well. We just lacked that clinical edge, particularly in that first half, didn't we? Yeah, like I say, it was the decision making all over the park, whether it was us in the final third, um, forcing passes in the wrong wrong areas instead of opening the pitch up and making them move move over bigger distances to then make a clearer opportunity to cross the ball or pick someone out or, or even get a shot off. Um, it was those decision makings that cost us um, in, in certain moments today and you know it's not like us, not like us at all because we've got some very very good players who are dangerous in the final third um, but again you know can't fault the lads, they've, they've stuck at it and they've you know got us over the line. Did it come as a bit of a surprise to you how high Liverpool were playing at times because you know we've come to uh, places before and obviously home games where teams part of the bus they didn't really do that today did they no no i mean we we had them watch paddy went and watched them on, on wednesday um, obviously we, we watch we watch teams and then they do set up completely different to how we've we've seen them and how we expect them to to play but but that again it's just our players we've got to recognize how they're setting up and what the game plan is very early on and how can we exploit the spaces and the, the weaknesses in the team um, but like i say just just in general really we were a little bit off it, a little bit laboured in, in our performances in, in and out of possession. Just after the, the hour mark, you introduced Joe Bunny and Nicky Maynard. Um, how did you envisage them influencing the game? Yeah, it was it was forced really, forced upon us. Duff's has, has had a calf niggle for a good number of weeks now, but he, he's felt fine all week. We didn't need him last week against Mosley, um, which was good. So he could have a, an extra rest and, and get himself right, which he, which he has done this week. Um, two really good training sessions like the rest of the group had and he's just felt it today um, so it, it looks like he's you know he's, he's going to be missing for a, for a few games unfortunately but you know we've, we've got other players who can step in that's what we've got the squad for um, and then Zeki just felt his groin which is unfortunate really because it, it wasn't early on in the game it was you know late in the second half so from that perspective it's not not great but we'll assess Zeki tomorrow and, and see how he is it's a great strike to break the deadlock, deadlock wasn't it yeah it was and we told him at half time you know just keep going, keep going. You know, you will get chances. It's about making those right decisions at the right time, and and Alex did that. He, you know, he, he took it away very nicely. But the build-up play was good, in in regards to that. It was it was a good move, and more like ourselves really. That that's how we play. And um, there just wasn't enough of that in the whole game. We've seen it a few times now, haven't we? At Leek and at Mosley, where he's taken a goal to almost like bring us back to what we all know we can do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we say to the lads before the game, we make a big point of saying, look, don't just wait for it to happen and expect it to happen. Go and make it happen, you know. Make it happen by making forward runs to disturb the opposition. Um, put balls in the box, make them defend and, and try and get as many shots off as possible. Make the keeper make saves because the more you do that, the more chance you've got to score in a goal. So um, it's, it's vitally important you, you do do that in games. How would you assess the period after it took the lead? Because... You could assess it by it was great game management because we limited the chances for Liverpool, but at the same time, could well have gone on to get a second, third, and make it you know a 
a more emphatic victory. Yeah, it's, it's getting the balance right because you don't want to go gung-ho looking to finish them off and then get caught. You'll be nice and solid, nice and compact because they didn't really cause us any problems um, in that regard. Marcelo didn't have any saves to make second half, I don't think. Um, so from that perspective, it's just about not giving them a half chance or anything um, from, from any set pieces either. So from that perspective, I think we've got the balance right there. And, and we could have got another one. It just didn't fall right mm -hmm. for, for Nicky. He had um, a great chance going through, but the ball just wouldn't settle, unfortunately. And the lad got a toe on it. Um, and obviously, James hit the post. Great run, hit the post, inch and inch to the right. It hits the post and goes in. So fine margins, but you know it's just good to get over the line. I know you're a little bit disappointed, let's say, in the performance, but the fact of the matter is it's a fifth consecutive win. You don't get much better than that day at this stage of the season. No, you don't. I mean, you know, you, ideally you want a perfect performance and a, to go with the, the win, but um, at, at this moment in time, it's about getting through the first month of the season. And, and, getting a 100% record and then you start building and players' performances and consistency levels will improve, no doubt about that because we've got a great group um, and know what they're capable of and it's just about sticking to the process of getting the wins like we have done today because it's not easy coming to these places um, even though the pitch was absolutely fan fantastic today, it makes a change from, from last week against Mosley um, but you know the lads have stuck at it, got over the, the final hurdle um, and got the three points and just finally quick turnaround now 48 hours until we welcome witness how much can you as manager impact the team in such a short period of time it's just the recovery making sure the lads look after themselves tomorrow especially and getting in the right mindset because it's the same for them you know they've played today as well so it's not just us um, so they've got to look at that and there'll be you know places up for grabs should I say um, and we'll be looking at what we can do to, to make those changes and make the right ones and be be ready to go Monday. Thanks mate.